So you can see Stonehenge. Stonehenge is built on top of an ancient uh, glacier fed water spring. And I'm working on a very detailed mm, video uh, to show you in a day or so. But right now I'm going to release this preliminary video so you can see how my thinking firsthand the physical mechanics of this um, utility device which is called Stonehenge. Uh, it's I hope the National Geographic which is coming up with this uh, presentation on Stonehenge uh, um, uh, basically unhinged <laughs> um, uh, they figured out that this was not only a burial ground which that happened every once in a while after each phase of it uh, but this was a trading post and basically it was based on water it was not so easy to bring water from uh, River Avon all the way up there on the other hand water fizzing off the ground would have been a waste if they let it go through those channels all the way back to the river without being used so they built a series of tanks and later on they built an avenue with the two gutters on both sides so the water to run all the way to the river and of course some of the stones were basically put in tall enough so you could find the place and the rest of them was the largest one was the ditch and uh, became through centuries smaller and smaller as the um, uh, drought and um, climate change affected the area and probably even till the days of Romans there was a little bit of water left there since a Roman coin was found there. Maybe a small pool. Who knows? And today we should just look for cracks in the ground and a geologist will be able to answer this thing a lot more than an archaeologist. That's why the only thing you find there is dead people because time to time, of course, they buried people there. I Some uh, Saxon was buried there and a lot of people were buried into those so-called Aubrey holes, uh, cremation. But I have a feeling that National Geographic would go out of their way to find a gate for this place in order to walk into it as a temple, not as a place of light. National Geographic magazine. Or just learn. Learn. Watch and learn, learn, you guys. It's like your above-ground swimming pool. Thank you. The Keystone. Now, do we need wood. We're not, not going to use small pieces now just for the show. We're going to use a larger piece. This soft piece of film represents wood. That's another one we throw in here. Or maybe we throw this one in here. Boom. Watching? Good. Underground water percolating over there from the seen a swimming pool? 